nice and smooth. So let's get into this. Um, a little that's what he said action because Jose Barrios gets removed way too freaking early from a game that the Blue Jays needed to win. And also it's a marathon, so you can't just use your bullpen every day or you say Kikuchi at a weird spot. But three innings, shutout ball. And according to some people that watch Jose Barrios every single day, like the writers, they were like, this is the best we've ever seen him for three innings. And then he gets removed after 47 pitches. So first off, let's run through some reaction because obviously the Blue Jays lose. That was the entire freaking game right there. They take him out and Kikuchi lets up two runs when he comes in. So first off, our buddy Whit Merrifield, who keeps it real after the game, said, quote, I hated it. Frankly, it's not what cost us the game, but it's the kind of baseball decisions that are taken away from managers in baseball at this stage of the game. Uh, Vladdy Jr., it's not our decision. We were surprised. Jose Barrios, honestly, I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> um, and a little more from Vladdy Jr., Quote, obviously, everybody was surprised. Everyone was surprised with the decision, but there are things you cannot control. You can ask yourself many times, but it's not our decision. We were surprised. And lastly, let's get some thoughts from Toronto Blue Jays manager, John Schneider, who I'm just going to throw this out there because most managers get a script, probably was told what to do, but maybe you guys can help me out a little bit more with this. Let's get Schneid's post game. Yeah, we had a few different plans in place. Um, Hosey was aware of it. Uh, he had electric stuff, you know. Um, tough to take him out, you know. I think with the way that they're constructed, you want to utilize your whole roster. Uh, and it didn't work out, you know. I, I think you, you can look at it broadly and say it didn't work out because they scored two runs and we did make a change. Um, you can also look at the fact that it didn't work out and we didn't take advantage of, of uh, at-bats we had with runners in scoring position. So, so you can sit here and, you know, Second guess me, second guess the organization, second guess anybody. Um, I get that, you know, I get that. And it's uh, it's tough and uh, it didn't work out for us today or yesterday. But, you know, that's baseball sometimes. There's 29 teams that are going to say the same thing when the season's over. Um, but yeah, it's a tough way to end the year. Super real. Super real right there by schneids like he's he's not ducking it he's not trying to to me i think he's you know he's putting himself he's running himself over with the bus but i want to really ask tingler this when he comes on because he was a manager he was you know he was a big league manager recently with this as people say the quote new era of baseball it's not a new era of baseball i truly believe that the game plan that they put out there that they thought about that I texted Schneider about coming on this show, you know, the day before they started the playoffs. And he's like, dude, I would love to. The meetings are all day long. So those meetings are not because, man, I wonder how we can screw this up. No, they wanted to win. And that's the same new era, old era. They wanted to win these games. I just think the game plan was flawed because there is a, looking glass type of way of looking at it. And there is a actual, we're in the mud. We're doing this right now. Not in the mud like Jerry DePoto said, but we're in the mud. We're fighting this out. Holy cow. Jose is dealing right now. He has eight swing and misses on 25 of, his sw of their swings, of the Twins, 25 swings, eight swing and misses. That is incredible through 47 pitches. That's a great game on 100 pitches. You got to let it, you got to let it ride, but you got to let your manager be able to let it ride. And teams also have that intermediary in the dugout that's like, oh, well, I'm the help, helpful analytic guy that's also helping you on the field. Everybody needs to be together in the situation, but also understand that you got to give your manager more leeway in that situation. And Schneid's most likely is going to stay laid in front of the bus because there's nobody else that he can that he can throw under the bus because all those guys are protected by the shield of not having to be in the limelight of being the manager. Should a front office person like say Ross Atkins come out and say, hey, I just want to point to our front office working on a script together and highly advising that this was the game plan and please don't put this all on the manager. Because I think most fans still look at the game and go, oh, John Schneider, 
nofeel.com. What are you doing, dude? I can tell you he has feel. I know he has feel. And Tingler's going to say the same thing because we're all buddies when we play together. Like there, there's, there's, a, there's a piece of it that people would say, okay, Ross Atkins comes on. Are we just bringing – are we just bringing more people on that make the most amount of money? Like when, how many people are in that room making that decision? Let's let everybody talk about it. And ultimately, if your organization doesn't let the manager make the final say, then yes, everybody needs to come on. But if that manager's making the final say and you give him that leeway, no matter who the manager is, then you have, then yes, it's the manager's fault. But, that those meetings need to be if I'm the manager, I need to say, okay, guys, I see what you're saying, but I also see what's going on in the game. And I know 100 percent that Schneids knows what's going on in the game and knew what he saw there. But he had his hand. He was right here was the, the bullpen button and he had his hand right over top of it, because if it didn't happen on the 47th pitch, it was going to happen on the 30th pitch. He already had Cabrera ready. Yeah, you know, my big problem within our sport right now is that for too long, there are too many decision makers that are treating this like a simulation and not like real life. And that has to do with certain game situations. Of course, we can look back at the famous Kevin Cash removal of Blake Snell and same thing as if Kevin Cash was the only one making that decision. Come on. And we just covered the hot topic in the sport from a front office perspective on Jerry DePoto and the Mariners, that press conference sounded like a damn simulation, 54% doing you a favor. And it got a ton of pub because that's just not real life. That's like a wall street simulation, but this is baseball. Um, I encourage people to check out a friend of the show, Evan Drellick's article in the athletic, because he just completely like shortly too. it was not a long article, just shortly lays out that this is not a damn video game. This is real life. Let's treat it that way. It's, it's crazy. So.